Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. The two people there in government that got in on the shirt tale of Mia Motley, Abrams and Marshall. Marshall is the Attorney General. They did a survey and the findings from that survey they have sealed. Okay? They have sealed. I don't hear anything about a march to Independence Square to uh, make that report public to make sure that you see what's contained in that report. It was a report on the running or whatever goes on at Dodd's prison there in St. Philip Hotel, St. Philip. Now this guy, Romario Antonio Roach, he's 22 years old now, but he started his career in his teenage years. He started his career in his teenage years. Now his father showed up in the paper saying that he did all he could do. He did his best. He did his best. Now he did not do his best. Anthony Wiltshire, you did not do your best. You did not even do your best for yourself. Even for yourself, you did not do your best. You brought a child into this world under object poverty. You brought a child into the world in poverty, okay? You did not do your best. Now, how many people during the career of Romario Antonio Roach did he kill? Okay, those are the dates and these are the people. Tyrone Austin, 68, Joanne Roach, which happens to be his mother. Yes, Romario killed his own mother. He did that on January 21st, 2019. There he is. She was 38 years old, and he killed a university professor, Sarah Sustrina. She was working at the university there in Barbados, um, Cave Hill campus, when he abducted her and took her up to St. Lucie and did whatever he did, but um, she died at Romario's hands. Here's Romario again. Now, about that report that is sealed, it is something that the public should know about the runnings of Hotel St. Philip. You should know what goes on in there. You should know how many serial killers are in there. You should know how many serial killers are in Barbados. You should know, no matter how often they say that most crimes are solved, you should know about the unsolved, unsolved crimes. And is there any way they can tap back, even if it's 15, 20 years to do invest? Oh, I'm sorry. They don't do investigations. They don't, you do not do investigations. So you will never ever have a DNA lab and you will never keep things that long so you could tack back and see if someone is in your system that may have done something in their teenage years or whatever. You will never do that. So people are getting away with murder in Barbados. I want Romario Antonio Roach to be interviewed by, I guess you have journalists in Barbados, in Barbados, I would like Romario Antonio Roach to speak to the people and let us know the first offense against his body that he remembers. I want Antonio at Rom Romario Antonio Roach. I would like him to speak. I would like to hear him speak his his truth into into the camera, into the audio, and I would like him to detail his first memory of any abuse or all of the abuse against his body. What made, what made Romario a teenager? He was 18 years old when he was picked up. When he was picked up for the last one, he was 18. What made Romario a young person, young person, what made him become a serial killer?
This is Shea Veronica.